Another great video and this time we are inside Savage 7 that's right uh, what did you guys think of my little picture at the first there that's pretty classy right right the general looking good in his suit I gotta say this general Zazo thing is kind of rubbing off on me and well I do have name changes and I can change my YouTube channel name and, oh I don't know tough debate tough debate and up first, making my mom happy, showing it off on YouTube, using those skills of my fingers, dropping down the troops, and uh, I wasn't so skillful in the war, by the way. Um, I thought, well, I usually like to sometimes, if I get on, attack the person that attacked me, and my dragons went left when they should have went right, or they went right when they should have went left, and there was an air defense up, so I just stopped the raid at... 71% because there's a good chance I wasn't getting back around to take it down anyways, but This is kind of weird. Why did that air defense go down now? I'm assuming splash damage. Yes, but it almost looked as though it just went down because the king looked at it wrong, but I don't know Must have been some splash there. I didn't catch And I have been trying to do uh, more live streams lately. Uh, I haven't quite been doing as much videos. I still want to get videos out of all the clans, of course. Uh, we've done a 3.4, a 5.6. Uh, we've done a Savage soon, uh, 8.9. We've actually got lots of 8.9s, but I'm going to do another one anyways. Uh, just like we've got lots of Savage 7s, but might as well put this one out there as well with those same kind of classy thumbnail as the other family videos. And I have done a Minimax one before, and I think I did a Savage Minimax one. Uh, of course, Savage Minimax, now called Savage, uh, level 13. And Minimax Savage, well, we're going through a bit of a struggle there. The whole new war system and matching and everything else. Uh... However, this is about Savage 7, so a lot of you ask... How can we get into Savage 7 or can I join Savage 7? Please stop asking if you don't match the requirements. I cannot help you. I have had tens of thousands of people over the years ask to get into Savage 7 because they are going to push. The goal of Savage 7 is to push to get there and then to keep pushing. Um, so if you're coming... Look at how many trophies there are, first of all. That's probably going to be your guideline for where you should be about if you join. Uh, if you happen to notice a few lower under those trophy requirements, uh, we do have that bottom that we cycle, and we have visitors that do come in and out, and so on and so forth. So that's kind of how that works. Uh, basically, if you're going to come there, try to actually be you know higher than the required cups that way it keeps you safe you don't accidentally you know get kicked out on a cycle because you're you're slacking in cups compared to the next person that's joining um of course at a certain point i mean if we had a solid clan of people that weren't hopping out well you know we probably wouldn't uh flood out people at that point but it's such a high traffic and it's always been high traffic over the years i've had thousands of people push through the savage seven clan uh, also, probably one of the most known clans in Clash, and probably one surrounded by the most drama, rumors, BS. Uh, don't get yourselves caught up in it. Just a jealous old lead. Um, long story, but we don't really like getting into it. Uh, some people regret decisions that they've made over the years. That's not my problem. I can't help you there. The general is not going to step out and let anyone rank over him, so don't you worry. I will be around right to the very end. Which, speaking of the very end, uh, you know, some of you guys out there, come on, get motivated as those Town Hall 7s. Uh, it's 
been noticing all the Town Hall 7 clans are actually down in members, not just Savage 7 and the other one and all the other 7 clans in general, but even some of the other pushing clans seem to be losing momentum. Um, Supercell's got to come out with something. I've got some ideas, but again, we'll save that for the next video. This is Savage 7, so... And other than that, don't forget you have to be a Town Hall 7. Of course, if you are under a 7, let's say you're a Town Hall 6 at the required cups, we will accept you. Uh, we will accept you with open arms. We do not mind the lower Town Halls as well, especially if they're up there higher. But I would encourage that if there is Town Hall 5s and 6s, you know, that do make it up there to require into Savage 7, uh, you could do it just as easily with a 7, and you would motivate so many more people in the clan that you're in. If you can do it, others can do it. People look up to that, so don't necessarily jump out. You will be probably, you know, one of the most looked at and respected people in that clan, uh, depending on your cups and depending on when others join. Like I've always said, it's not necessarily the number one player in the clan, neither, that uh, encourages others to push. It's sometimes the first person they meet that gives them that wow factor, right? I go into Global and I talk in Zazo 2, and a guy's never seen a Town Hall 7 Titans 1. Wow, I'm now his favorite guy. But there could be somebody else, like, say, Anime or anyone that goes on Global, less cups, says hello again to a person that's never seen Town Hall 7s at push and now that person is their favorite person that they'll look up to and be inspired by so just because you're also not the highest cups doesn't necessarily mean you won't be inspiring so try 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 uh, you can succeed and lately people have been asking for a push uh, guide video so I think I might do another one I have done one or two over the years but Maybe it's time for a refreshment one. And lots of great raids from inside Savage 7. Pretty much if you're a Town Hall 7, you're going to be pushing. Best to use air. Uh, and in those low leagues, when you start out, if you're going to push through, um, try to consider not upgrading things. Right? Yeah, maybe upgrade things before you start pushing. Really all you need to push is level 2 dragons. Defense is never going to matter. Uh, you kind of want max rage. You'd like to be your, your loons at uh, their max level as well. Or your minions, I meant to say, at their max level. After that, I mean, it really doesn't matter with defense. Slowly upgrade, but during those low levels, try not to upgrade. Because what happens is, you do a big upgrade, you drain almost all your loot. Pretty soon, you start to run dry of loot. Uh, right up till about crystal, right at 2,000 cups. Uh, without too much effort, you can find lots of bases. Just be selectful. Don't hit anything for under 400,000 loot. Uh, you'll find 400,000, 500, 600,000 easy bases for Town Hall 7s to hit. Uh, don't stray under that just because of cups. You're down low. Don't worry about cups yet. It's not a big deal. You're more worried about making sure you have enough loot to make it through the struggles. That will come ahead. Uh, when you do get to champs and you start to get up there, that's where you can start to upgrade things. Uh, wait till you're completely full and upgrade one thing, right? You know, wait till you're full of gold and then upgrade an archer tower. Wait till you're full of elixir and upgrade something else in your lab or maybe your barracks is or, or whatever. But basically wait till you're full because then you still have, you know, some loot left over after you're done upgrading. And with loot bonus, once you get up there, uh, most of the bases you're going to find anyways are going to be nines, uh, the odd 8s. You'll find the rare 7s once you get up there. But you'll find a lot of 10s. 9s uh, and 8s are going to be your main targets. You get lots of loot off of them. So just wait till you get up there if you're going to upgrade your base. Not such a big hurry for defense. And I love little art bases. I'm not quite sure if that was supposed to be a heart. But they could have taken a few extra walls from behind there. Just to make the thumbs a bit better for that, that, that special touch to the design. And myself, I have been inside Savage 7 uh, since summer of uh, 2014. So I've had Zazo over the 3200 Champs badge uh, for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, you can do it. Uh, a lot of people 
say they don't want to push anymore, especially the old guys. Uh, from, not necessarily the old guys, but just from the older days. Um, they just said they don't have time anymore and this and that. But you know what? It's not the same thing. It's way easier now, guys. It's way easier than it used to be. I got to tell you, you know, I don't put in a lot of full session times. Um, <laughs> I've slept through many, many sessions. I put on shields and just let them go. Uh, when I'm motivated, you know, I'll bite down and try and raid through them and search through them if I got time. And depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going, I'll, I'll try what I can. But it's not like I was in 2014-15. Uh, it's not that 12 hours, 18 hours a day. I mean, if you want to set records, be prepared. That is what you're going to have to do. But if you just want to get to Titans 1 as a Town Hall 7, I mean... You don't have to do that that much. Uh, you are going to take some hard defenses. You're going to have some losses and stuff. But I find if you set yourself up with goals, uh, you know you're gonna you're gonna have harder letdowns. So just go with the flow. That's all I ever did with Zazo two, right from the start. I just I'll see where I can go with this. I'll just see where I can go. So that's basically it. If you want to join Savage 7, you know how to do it. Just push those cups and we will see you there. Thanks everybody for watching and thanks to the support of everybody. I will see you in live stream. 10 minutes.